Now, we'll be further seeing the heat exchangers. Now, heat exchangers are, and heat interchangers are nothing but they are the devices which would help to transfer heat from one fluid to another fluid or one gas to another gas. These are the, some of the examples. Let's see those examples. First is tubular heat exchanger. Now we'll directly move to the figure so that it would be much easier to understand. Now this tubular heat exchangers are classified into concentric tube or double pipe and shell and tube type. Concentric tube or double pipe, shell and tube type. Now, see this tubular heat exchanger principle. What happens is there are two pipes. In the inner pipe, there would be cold fluid. Je tamare ene warm karu che a fluid, your desired fluid. Now, in the outside, from the outside, you will have the warmer fluid. And they are baffles are arranged over here. Okay, they are baffles. Now, what happens is when water comes in, they would strike the baffle and move in a circular helical pattern. So, it would be kind of turbulent flow. Okay, and another thing is due to baffles, film would not form here. Overall heat transfer, fluid film form. So, because of this, water or any other warmer fluid would not remain stagnant, will continuous have the turbulent motion. So, what happens is, when the cold fluid goes inside, it will have the heat exchanging process and from this side, warmer fluid would come out. Now, here, the warmer fluid will come out in the colder form. Okay, this is the basic principle of this tubular heat transfer. Now, in a... Other one is concentric tube or double pipe. Similar, only thing is pipes are arranged in double form. See, same here, baffles would be arranged in between so that fluid would be in the circular motion. Inside the pipe would be your desired liquid, the sample, and outside would be the warmer fluid. heat exchange And from one side you put cold and other side it will come out hot. Okay, this is how it is. Now, let's see the theory. It consists of circular tube. One fluid is inside the tube and other is outside. The heat transfer takes place across the wall of the tube. Now, heat exchangers first type is in concentric heat tube exchanger. One fluid flows through the inner tube while the other fluid flows in an angular space between the two tubes the heat transfer takes place across the wall of the tube simultaneously fluid flow occurs in the heat exchangers the parts are not moving okay this part i explained to you now other is shell and tube heat exchanger nothing is changed only thing is arrangement is a little bit modified it is a modification of double pass arrangement. Aya pelama behati aya char karididi. Okay, ele under aya cold fluid for se. Barthita me hotter fluid apso. Baffles ne lide abida baffles che. In a lide a circular motion ma liquid flow thus se, which will be cold, hot, sorry. So in a lide atamaruja cold fluid che warm thus se, and it will come out. And from here, the colder fluid would come out which has je pella ahiya thi warm enter thayu bar nikal se cold ma je ahiya warm enter cold enter thayu e ahiya thi nikal se warm ma samajh padi it is just the opposite mechanism it is very simple now why we have done in this way heat exchanging area increases okay that is 100 to 500 meter square per meter cube it is per unit volume of heat exchanger correct now it consists of a double or round tubes packed inside a cylindrical shell we have already seen this cylindrical shell see this is a cylindrical shell inside which tubes are arranged 
one fluid flows inside the tube it is called tube fluid and the other on the outside it is known as shell fluid baffles may be provided on the shell side to prevent the stagnation of the cell sorry shell side fluid and promote better heat exchange i already told you that baffles would not allow to the fluid to remain stagnant for longer period of time it would be continuously in motion advantages it can be designed over wide range of capacity now what does this mean તમે જેટલું મોટું કરવા માંગો એટલું કરી શકો આમાં ચાર પાઇપ મૂકેલી છે યુ કેન કીપ ટેન યુ કેન કીપ ફિફ્ટીન યુ કેન કીપ હંડ્રેડ ઇવન ઓકે ધ ટ્યુબ્સ આર રિપ્લેસેબલ એન્ડ કેન બી ક્લીન ઇઝીલી એરિયા વુડ બી મોર ફોર હીટિંગ સો એફિશિયન્ટલી ધ હીટ એક્સચેન્જિંગ પ્રોસેસ વુડ ટેક પ્લેસ નાઉ અધર વન ઇઝ પ્લેટ હીટ એક્સચેન્જર ઇટ ઇઝ અગેન ડાયરેક્ટ ટ્રાન્સફર હીટ એક્સચેન્જર ટાઈપ યોર ફર્સ્ટ ઇઝ ફ્લેટ પ્લેટ ટાઈપ and second one is spiral plate type now let's see first the figure so that you can understand it much better same figure you must have seen in filtration also okay so here somewhat it is same not like i would say exactly same but somewhat arrangement is same now see i have taken one cross sectional pipe outside now the pipes are arranged in this way okay and there are grooves provided see this grooves are provided and this plate is not plain see you can see some linings over here so this kind of linings are there why because when the fluid flows it will stay for a longer period of time if it is a plain one if there is no friction the fluid will not like remain here for longer period of time okay and they are arranged in a opposite fashion see one is arranged in this way and other would be arranged in a mountain shape this way see a ek am che ane ek che am now this plates are arranged in such a way that now this grooves are in such a way arranged that from one side hotter fluid would be there other side colder fluid would be there see ek pipe ma apne cold fluid apisu bija ma hot fluid apisu pacho cold pacho hot pacho cold pacho hot. like alternatively they are arranged okay and because of that heat exchanging would be take in a more efficient manner ne so thase ek baju thi cold fluid jay cha ahya thi kau fluid flow thai che cold one અહીંયાથી ઉપરથી કયું ફ્લુઇડ આવે છે હોટ વન એટલે એના લીધે શું થશે દેર વુડ બી કન્ટિન્યુઅસ હીટ એક્સચેન્જિંગ વુડ બી ટેકિંગ પ્લેસ એટલે જો સી અહીંયાથી નીચે ઉતરશે ધીમે રહીને બહાર નીકળશે અહીંયાથી તમારું વોમ ઓફ ફ્લુઇડ જઈ રહ્યું છે એને ઉપરથી આપો એટલે એના લીધે શું થશે ઇનર કોન્ટેક્ટમાં તો આવવાનું જ છે કારણ કે આ કન્ટિન્યુઅસ ફ્લો છે પહેલાં હોટ કોલ્ડ હોટ કોલ્ડ હોટ કોલ્ડ એટલે એના લીધે there would be continuous exchange of heat okay so it is known as plate heat exchanger let us see the theory consist of series of reg, uh, rectangular thin gauge metal plates which are clamped together to form a narrow panel or parallel plate channel known as passes this is known as passes number of plates arranged in each pass depend upon the volume of liquid to be handled of course if smaller uh, liquid volume is there you require suppose 5 6 or 7 plates if 1000 liter is there accordingly 20 plates you require just suppose i'm telling now each plate has hole at the corners for the flow of the fluid this one i already shown you this advantage the corrugations of the surface of the plate increases the rigidity of the plate at the same time creates turbulence in the fluid flow and helps better heat transfer this grooves corrugation i already explained you there would be better turbulence jetlu tame athada ek bija the etla matter okay heat transfer area per unit volume is around 100 to 200 meter square per centimeter cube 
sorry meter cube mechanical cleaning of both sides of the plate is possible okay the high degree of bacteriological cleanliness is achieved it is desirable in pharmaceutical industry now it is only used for liquid liquid heat transfer it is not used for uh, this gas okay now this figure it is little bit complicated but you can show this plates like this okay and explain it draw two three more plates and write down uh, in that arrange in a parallel side so it will be much understood because drawing this is difficult just show the arrow that fluid is going inside fluid is coming outside that's it now spiral plate heat exchanger this is flat plate this one flat plate so baddi plate seedhi cha okay now in spiral the name tells you itself that it is in a spiral form see this way this is how in industry it is arranged in a spiral form so again here the mechanism is same hot fluid and outside it is cold fluid so ek baju kayu run thase hot ane biji baju cold ek baju hot ek baju cold evi rite run thase water inlet evi rite provide karvama aave chhe okay it consists of a continuous sheet of metal framed into a double spherical one within the other okay by winding on a special type of mineral what is a special type of mineral means this this one inside which this is baffles are arranged this spiral body is closed at both the ends by covers when the unit is operated advantages it is used for liquid liquid as well as vapor liquid heat exchange because both the side is is closed one during liquid liquid heat transfer complete counter current flow pattern is maintained thus heat transfer coefficient is maintained spirals cannot be removed for cleaning hence we can get access to both side of sorry uh, spirals can be removed okay my mistake spirals can be removed for cleaning hence we can get access to both sides of heat transfer surface this is the figure you just have to draw the spherical portion not this one and just write one side hot and one side cold fluid is getting inserted and it is coming in the opposite panel see cold fluid is going from this side and hot fluid is going from this side so this way it will flow and hot fluid will go this side and accordingly it will come out this cold fluid would come out this way and hotter would come out in this way okay your heat transfer chapter is also over thank you